Hi everybody, Wendy Devereaux here. Welcome to my channel. If you would like to see how I did this painting with the crushed seashells and glitter, then please keep watching. Okay guys, so today's painting, I'm going to do something again for those of you who cannot find the liquid glass or the crushed glass. Um, some of you have mentioned that there are no Michaels uh, stores in your area. So um, I am going to do another teal so that you have another look at something that you can do with the teal. But I'm going to kind of do a beachy effect this time. I'm going to use some browns. I found this really nice crushed seashells. And it has some really, really pretty colors to it. Like there's rainbowy colors in there. And this I did get at Michael's. It's a floral fill filler, right? Like for vases. Um, this is an Ashland brand, but I saw it at Walmart because when I was finished at Michael's, I had to run to Walmart and it is in the floral section there. And I know Walmart is on every corner of the globe. So <laughs> check your Walmart. And I am going to be coating my painting with the Satin Mod Podge, my new favorite. I, I just love the low sheen on it. It's not a high gloss. And this, you guys, I found a hard coat Mod Podge. It's for outside use, but... I'm thinking that it would be great for um, adhering crushed glass. And I am going to do a painting um, using this with the crushed glass. So that'll be in the future. Okay guys, so I want to make a little bit of a design on my canvas and I'm think and this is going to be a little tricky when when I go to paint it, but that's okay. Um, so I kind of want to start up here, come down a little bit. I think something like that, and then when I paint, I have to maintain a straight line still. And that's okay because the crushed seashells and the glitter are going to be in the middle here. So that may not be too bad. I'm going to use, uh, this is the two inch, two inch flat brush. And I've got my paints here. And I'm going to start, I'm going to start you guys with, burnt umber and I'm going to start out with my nice straight lines of paint here and we're going to use territorial beige by apple barrel you can get these at walmart for 99 cents here in canada great deal And you know what I didn't do was spray my canvas, so um, that's okay. I will spray my paintbrush with water. And just my white. Kind of evenly dispersed throughout your canvas here. And I am going to add, <laughs> sorry, my, my voice is probably bouncing because I'm talking and shaking it. I'm going to use some of this vanilla. I am going to spray my brush with some water, just water. Let's get started here. So we are, I think, you know what? I am going to start in the middle 
just because it's a new technique going around and I just want to get my my lines Ooh, that's pretty the browns and I'm just going to get those rounded corners and remember you guys I just use the inexpensive canvases from Michaels just for the sake of these videos okay if you buy the more expensive ones they don't have the rounded corner on so you don't have to deal with that <laughs> Kinda you can so I'll get that straight. A little bit of brown right here. Up blending it in too much because I had to go over it too many times right there we go so that's all you have to do if you do end up blending it too much you guys just add another little line of paint so for the turquoise teal part our ocean part we are going to use the folk art teal that I'm in love with, the more I use it. And then the deep turquoise from acrylic. Okay, so now we're going to load up our brush. And I'm going to do my sides right away. Make that round part. And up top. Not too concerned about up top or at the bottom. But I, I am concerned with these little round, rounded edges. Okay, so let's do that again. One more swipe. And just be very um, aware if you're going to do the wiggly like this. You don't have to. You could go straight across too, you guys. Um, just be very aware not to go into your brown. I mean, if you did, like, Angus hair, I'm blowing my canvas. Um, if you did, you guys, just like my my last video with the um, modeling paste, you can fix boo-boos with paint. That's the beauty about paint. Put my brush in that brown. It's gonna be really pretty. <laughs> I always get I always get excited when I'm painting. Remember, um, if you watched, oh, I can't remember which one it is. My other one of my other videos. You want to make sure your plate is above so that you're not carrying a loaded paintbrush across your canvas in case it drips on your other color. Trust me. I've had that happen, <laughs> so <laughs> learn from my mistake. So, okay, you guys, once this is dry, I'll come back and apply the Mod Podge. Okay, you guys, a little bit of a change of plan here. 
I remembered that I have some of this iridescent chunkier glitter from the dollar store. I wanted a chunky glitter in here so that the light had something to reflect off of better. And I decided that, you know what, I want to close this gap up because I'd rather be safe than sorry. We're going to use the satin finish. Okay guys, so everything is all dry and now we are going to add some of the fun stuff. Um, I'm just using uh, my Mod Podge gloss because I have a big tub of it. But um, I put it in a cup and I've stirred it a little bit it, um, just to make it a little easier uh, to pour it. Right now, I am just going to pour. I'm going to pour it this way so I can see what I'm doing. Along the center here. I want to get a fair amount on there um, because I am going to be adding quite a bit of the seashells. And I'm going to use this brush so I can control it a little bit better. I don't, because this is uh, this wavy look, I don't really want any sharp spikes, which I won't get... with this rounded brush and my seashells. See, I want it more like a rounded look. Um, and I want my little chunks of seashells to go down into the blue a few up in the brown part but I want it mostly in the blue and I'm just going to kind of move this Mod Podge around to get a little bit of a pattern for myself I am going to give a shout out to Tish at Naptime Creations, you guys. If you like this beachy effect, you have got to go visit her channel. She did this awesome resin beach theme and it was brilliant what she did. I'm not going to tell you what she did but she did a technique that reminded me of a little Dutch pour. You have to go visit her. And, and you know what? If I still can't figure out how to do a link, I am going to put her um, the name of her channel in my description box. But seriously, guy, you guys, you have to go visit that visit her over there that um it was just brilliant I can't, I can't get over it okay so I'm going to start with the paradise and I'll tell you why um 
in a minute. So, now, why I put that on before the iridescent is I'm pretty sure that this iridescent chunky glitter when it's on top of this um, paradise it will pick up the color of the paradise from underneath it Okay, let's get some of these seashells on. So, these you guys, the Ashland brand, but like I said, you can get this stuff at Walmart. I've seen it. like my other paintings um, I am going to let this Mod Podge dry a little bit and then I am going to come back and just use a piece of white paper go along and push it down so that um, the shells are really adhering to the Mod Podge. Oh, you guys, this is going to be so pretty. I think, I think I want to add just pick a pretty one here, a couple of pretty ones. And what's cool about these shells, you guys, is it has, like it's that opalescence and it has the, um, the ocean green colors in it. It's, it's, it's gorgeous, you guys. I'm gonna have to use this more often in different, um, in different techniques. We're gonna get a lot of brush off on this, guys, um, but that's okay, because I want that, um, I want the glitter to pop. So yeah, after, um, I don't know, maybe about 15, 20 minutes, because the Mod Podge is pretty thick, I'm gonna go along and I'm just gonna press down lightly, you guys, like that with my paper. Uh, right now I don't want to, because it's really wet. Okay, you guys, we are going to brush this off. It's been on there now for oh, probably four or five hours. And it's not 100% hard dry yet, but if I have any hope of getting this video edited for you um, and uploaded tonight, which is Sunday, um, I'm going to start brushing it off. I'm going to do it very lightly. I know I'm going to have a lot of fall off, but that's okay. I'm expecting a lot of fall off from the, um, the shells in this case. Because I, I loaded them in there. And I knew they weren't touching the uh, Mod Podge. I'm just going to, before I get too carried away, I'm going to do 
this lately. Um, and if I feel that I need to let it dry a little bit more, I will. But I can always add. Um, I can always add more later as well. And just like I show you in all my other paintings too, I turn it around um, and then get the stuff because they do hang up on, on each other. Okay guys, here's the finished look. I am really, really pleased with the way this turned out. Another way that you can add some interest and some depth to a painting that you do without having to use liquid glass or the crushed glass. And this turned out exactly like I had planned. I wanted a lot of that glitter to peek through all of the crushed seashells. And the large iridescent glitter, it did pick up that um, paradise color. So it is shining through with a lot of the green. And the opalescence on some of these shells is just beautiful, you guys. I love it. And I wanted it just wavy. I didn't want any of the icicle effect. And I think if I were to do a large painting like this, I would bring the shells down into my blue a little bit more. But because it's a small canvas, I didn't want to do that. It would have been overpowering. I think less is more sometimes. So yeah, you guys, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell and you'll be notified when I upload more videos. And I have a lot more ideas for paintings, things that are different. And I'm trying to mix it up so that everybody can do some of these, you know, whether it's with the crushed glass or the, or the shells. And I know I'll come up with something else to add. And guys, do not forget to head over to nap time creations and visit tish she has got some awesome resin work over there as always guys i so appreciate you taking the time to watch and god bless